Next off, we are welcoming through Zoom Mr. Kaiji Banai, the Director General of the Agriculture Department from the Yamanashi Prefectural Government of Japan. Hi, my name is Kaiji Banai, Director General of the Agriculture Department in Yamanashi, Japan. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present our initiatives today. I'd like to introduce Yamanashi's efforts to reduce carbon dioxide emissions through the 4% initiative. Yamanashi Prefecture, the largest producer of grapes, peaches, and plums in Japan, has come up with a way we can use a fruit tree to store carbon in the soil. First, I want to talk about the fruit farmers and their current carbon straight efforts. They use organic matter, such as compost, to improve the soil. Compost contains a lot of carbon, which can be sequestered by adding it to the soil. They also implement grass cultivation, ensuring orchard grounds are covered with grass. However, the main effort I'd like to discuss involves the prune branches from fruit trees, which contain a lot of carbon. Prune branches are broken down into chips and added to the soil, effectively storing the carbon. In terms of glass cultivation, we conducted a survey where we found many plant and insect species in just one area. In addition to fostering biodiversity, benefits of glass cultivation include reduction of herbicides, a deep tillage effect of roots, and provision of soil and nutrient runoff caused by rainfall. Next, I'd like to talk about the new approach we are taking in our orchards to further carbon sequestration. Previous methods caused a lot of carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere. To avoid this, we started a new initiative to turn the prune branches into charcoal. Charcoal is resistant to decomposition and has the ability to store carbon semi-permanently in the soil. We use a carbonizer device like the one pictured here in our orchards. It's stainless steel, trumpet-shaped, portable, and bottleneck, so the charcoal can fall into place by simply lifting up the device. Another major advantage of this approach is that the carbon dioxide emissions are nearly zero. In Japan, charcoal has a long history of being used to improve soils, as shown in the oldest agriculture book in Japan, written in 1697 titled The Complete Book of Agriculture. Charcoal improves soil drainage and water retention in fields while increasing the number of useful microorganisms in the soil. This slide shows our forecasts for reducing carbon dioxide emissions. If we were to incorporate 10,000 hectares of Yamanashi into this initiative, the amount of carbon dioxide emission that could be reduced would be equivalent to about 5,000 cars. Yamanashi's approach to the four person initiative proposes a new way of contributing to the realization of a decarbonized society through agriculture. We hope to generate value for the delicious, environmentally friendly fruits of Yamanashi or gaining understanding from people all around the world. I'm sure that consumption of these four persons of fruits can make both humans and the earth happy. Last, as seen from this slide, our prefecture, Yamanashi, is home to Mount Fuji. We would be honored if you could come and visit all the wonderful places here in Yamanashi. In closing, I'd like to conclude my presentation by thanking you again for giving me this precious opportunity. Thank you so much for your time.